morning, my name is Beatrice Bird. The First Amendment in the Constitution states that Congress shall make no laws respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, or the right of the people peacefully to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. In answering the question, how are, um, how are the limitations of students' rights an illustration of the First Amendment in public schools, it can be concluded that there is a clear illustration of First Amendment rights in schools because students are allowed to freely express themselves while only having restrictions that are set in place to ensure their safety. A clear example of freedom of, of, of freedoms of First Amendment freedoms is the freedom of religion. Students are able to freely express their beliefs in school and the school system cannot place rules that obstruct that freedom. It is a clear example of First Amendment rights because it is a way of students for students to express themselves without having limitations in doing so. This picture portrays a group of students praying on school campus. This is allowed by the school because, they're, because of the First Amendment rights, and schools are not allowed to place rules that obstruct that. As stated in an article by Joe Laconte, he quotes former President Bill Clinton who states that nothing in the First Amendment converts our public schools into religion-free zones. While having these freedoms, there are also some limitations set in place to ensure the safety of students. The U.S. Supreme Court has repeatedly ruled that state and federal governments may place reasonable restrictions on the time, place, and manner of individual expression. The time, place, and manner can also be more commonly known as TPM. These TPM restrictions are set in place to ensure that the learning environment is controlled and that students are in a place where they can be focused and concentrate on what they're supposed to. Time refers to when a student is expressing themselves. Students cannot just simply stand in front of a classroom and speak whatever they want whenever they choose to do so without having consequences. Place refers to where a student expresses themselves. In the court case, in a state in the article, Do Minors Have Rights in Public Schools? by Teresa Karma, the, the case Hazelwood School District versus Colmeyer the Supreme Court permitted the removal of certain articles from a school newspaper. This is because the school newspaper was not an appropriate place to express the views that the students were expressing, so they were allowed to remove those articles. Manner refers to how a student expresses themselves. In the court case Bethel School District versus Fraser, the Supreme Court held that a student could be disciplined for giving a sexually explicit but not legally obscene speech at a school assembly. They were able to do this because of the way in which the student was expressing himself, which was not appropriate for a school environment. Even with these restrictions and freedoms, there have been some instances where these freedoms have been violated. The most famous one is the Tinker vs. Day 1. Mary Beth Tinker and John Tinker both wore black armbands in support of the Vietnam, a truce in the Vietnam War. They were suspended for doing so. However, the court ruled that this was unconstitutional. Um, as stated by Fred C. Lunenberg, the court made it clear that school authorities would not be permitted to deny a student fundamental First Amendment rights simply because of a mere desire to avoid discomfort and unpleasantness that can always accompany an unpopular viewpoint. The court's decision in Tinker sent a clear message to the school system that a student has the constitutional right of freedom ex of expression in schools. The unconstitutionality of the school's actions in suspending the Tinkers clearly demonstrates that students do have First Amendment rights in schools that cannot be violated by the school system. From this, we can conclude that there is a clear illustration of First Amendment rights as students have the liberty to express themselves, but also have limitations based on what is appropriate for the school environment. As long as students know when, where, and how they should express, they can express themselves, they should not have an issue with getting consequences for it. Public schools are a place for student expression which is a guaranteed right given by one of the nation's oldest documents. And the few limitations that are set in place do not take that right away from them. Now, what are your questions? I think I have two questions for you. First up, um, how did your research evolve as you moved through the, the whole process? Did you go? Did you go to in a different direction than you had originally planned? Um, my research evolved because at first I was planning on writing how students do have many limitations, because I first read about the time, place, and manner, 
However, as my research evolved, I figured that out that students have certain freedoms that cannot be taken away from them in the school environment. So I kind of shifted my whole essay. I changed what I was going to say. All right. And second question. Um, Explain the level of certainty that you have about your solution or uh, conclusion to this. I'm very certain because there is a lot of evidence that students do have some limitations but that are constitutional and the, the times that they are not constitutional, they are overthrown by the courts and that you can see that in such as Tinker versus Des Moines, how it wasn't co ruled constitutional. All right, thank you.